interesting with line 14 I got quite a bit of stuff I actually started with just this pearl crypt interface open SSL AES at the very beginning and I thought well there was like no data here at all so I decided to do some more digging and I found some really cool stuff so this one's going to be called line 14 inner galaxies Galix M83 Charles Messier catalog Centaurus A clusters Johannes Kepler 22b stars and planets the calculations are 3 divided by 1 divided by 1 divided by 14, which equals 0 0.0214. This is found on line 14, in my line 14 anyways. Not actually on the line 14, but I call it line 14 because that's the next equation I went after. Okay, so um, the tags are going to be for the Perl Crypt interface open SSL AES used for data exchanging through serial interfaces like RS232. Um, that's the link to it. That's where I found that information, found out what it's more about, and then so I went into what what is our S232. I didn't know what it was, so I googled it. When developing or troubleshooting systems using RS232, close examination of hardware signals can be important to find problems. A serial line analyzer is a device similar to logic analyzer but specialized for RS-232's voltage levels, connectors, and where used clock signals. The serial line analyzer can collect, store, and display the data and control signals, allowing developers to view them in detail. Some simply display the signals as waveforms. More elaborate versions include the ability to decode characteristics in ASCII or in other common codes and to interpret common protocols used over RS-232 such as SDLC, HDLC, DD, CP, CMP, and X.25. Serial line analyzers are available as a standalone units, as software and interface cables for general purpose logic analyzers and as programs that run in common personal computers. They look like those little, um, the end of your printer cable, you know, those little thingies. I looked it up to see what it looked like. Here, I'll give it a quick view picture here. Actually, I've got it up here already. It's uh, that thing there. You know, you have it on the back of your computer where you plug your cables in and stuff. That's what it does. Okay, so um, I'm on my last little bit of battery power, so I'm hoping to get this section done through the whole thing. So what we found here was inner galaxies. It talks about the mind, alien technology, and, and I talk about telepath, telepathy. So inner galaxies is um, a website I found it's from Francis Duncan. He's written a book called Developing Your Superpowers, Phenomenal Mind Powers You Don't Know You Have, and the Developing Your Superpowers workbook. So I thought it was really cool because he talks about physical memory orgasms. He talks about phys physical memory accessing. And this was what really interested me, was the fact that he says um, effective right brain approaches to weight loss, smoking, depression, anxiety, pain relief, love. Um, the physical brain memory accessing is um, tells you to expand your brain, you know, make it better. So that was really cool. And then... Uh, so I'm going to go to my thoughts here for that section there. Okay, so January 15, 2012, 4.14 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, my thoughts. One of the coolest things to come up yet is the Inner Galaxies blog. Not only is it about a book you can get for yourself, it's also about opening up the mind and becoming enlightened by meditation. That's been my focal point since 2004, to expand my mind and tap into the other 90% of my brain. I wanted to know, is it possible to expand the mind and use different parts of the brain? I believe it's possible. Did you know that aliens often use telepathy to communicate? They do in the movies, and I'm assuming because their technology is far advanced from ours, so is their brain matter. Okay, I've run out of battery power. Okay, so I'll continue this in the next video after I recharge this battery. Okay? And so I just got into this first section here, and that's it. Just wait for it to finish. It's going to die any minute now. <laughs>
probably could have finished reading all this stuff, right? Okay. Hmm. I wonder how long it's going to go for here. So the other day I did a test on my dog. I telepathically sent her a message telling her I wanted to go for a walk with her. She dragged Terry all the way back home and he couldn't figure out what was going on. I was laughing my ass off when he showed up at the door just as 